Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with Mila and Michelle. And I got Mila right here, but she, she has her little headband on. She's drooling because I have her favorite treats and that's how I keep her engaged. But today I wanted to share how I clean her ears. Um, from when I had her as a puppy to now, um, she is 15 months, sit, 15, 16 months, something around there. But I just wanted to show you what we do. So we always make sure we have treats on hand. We want to make this a positive experience. Right, Mila? Yeah. Okay. So I use these round cotton things. Um, they're pretty flat, so they work really well. And I just have her sit. Mila, sit. This is kind of our bedtime routine, you could say. So I'm in my shower cap. We might take a shower after. And I got our ear cleaner. So we use an ear cleaner, if you can see this. It's just an ointment flush. I did get it from the vet. There's a lot of things on the market that you can use. But what I like to do is I just put a little bit on the pad. Gotta make it come out. So you're not dousing it in their ears, but ever since I've had Mila, no ear infections. So if you want to avoid ear infections, highly recommend this. So sit, Mila sit, she doesn't want to sit anymore. So I'm just going to rub it in her ear if you can see. And she's pretty calm and good about it now. And you don't want to stick your finger too far down their ears, but we just want to clean any debris and any gunk, just like we clean our ears. And you can see it got a little bit. So then I turn it a little bit into the ear, but I don't stick it too far down. I've seen some people stick Q-tips down their dog's ears. I'm not a vet, but I know that that's not good. And so I'm just going in just the crevices of her ear, just really gently. And um, we are good to go. We are all clean. And I do that maybe once every other week or so. If she's playing outside more, then we'll do it once a week. Like I said, I'm not a vet, not a vet tech, but I've learned from experience. Every time I always reward Mila, you're such a good girl. You did so good. And then I'm going to do the other ear. And one of the things I'm really a proponent of is using a new cotton, whatever, or if you're using a wipe to wipe them off, use something different, you know, unless it's all their paws. Uh, we wipe our feet every time we come in the house. So I'm going to just clean her other ear same way. Just gonna use very gentle, it's not hard. And going both sides. And once I feel that that's good, I, as you can see, it worked. I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'm gonna do it again, just really lightly and gentle in the ear. Doesn't hurt her. Uh, it's way, she, when I got her as a puppy, Mila came to me with an ear infection. And to do those drops once or twice a day, I don't even remember, I never want to have her go through that again. So I'm all about preventative care. So make sure to subscribe and check out our videos that we're putting up. And hey, if you like them and it's helpful, share them with a friend. And now we are all done with the clear cleaning of the ears. And Mila, sit. Sit. And high five. Good girl. We'll see you in the next video. Mm.